Hey, doing drop shipping on Amazon? Getting issues to win buy box R. Pricing and stock issues? Mrs. Zad, please explain a bit about Amazon drop shipping so they will get an idea what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, cr what do you said? Repeat again? Nothing. I said okay. That's better. Amazon dropshipping is the way to sell products on Amazon from various suppliers. Mostly do it from wholesale or retail websites. I just felt that most of you guys don't know about Reprice Hub. Actually, it's all in one Amazon dropshipping tool which will help you to reprice your Amazon listings automatically to win buy box. Moreover, you can list Walmart to Amazon, eBay to Amazon, Amazon to Amazon, Costco to Amazon, and from many other supplies items easily. And monitor products automatically from supply size to manage profit margins, repricing to win buy box and out of stock order issues. So let's jump into Miss Rack's computer screen to watch more about it or how you can use it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, this is the price hub. You'll get each feature here you need for Amazon dropshipping. All in one Amazon place for sellers. Always sell with a profit and get more Amazon buy box entries to skyrocket your Amazon business. It does buy box repricing, product listing, price or stock monitoring. In price monitor, three things I like. First thing is it will automatically check price on supply side and update price on Amazon twice in each hour. Second thing is it will keep your inventory updated. Like if any product will go out of stock on supply side, it will automatically make quantity zero on Amazon. Amazon. This will help you a lot to avoid getting orders for out of stock product. Third thing is you can add multiple suppliers or you can ask them to add any other supplier which they didn't support right now. Here are 37 suppliers they support right now. Isn't amazing? This is all what worth buying this tool. Moreover, you can configure listings in bulk through CSV. Okay, full integration with Amazon. They don't use third parties to do that. So you will get fast updates, whether it's in price or any action you take. You can watch this whole page to know more about its features. But I'm gonna show you practically how it really works. I checked it personally by comparing it with other Amazon dropshipping softwares and found it amazing. And the more amazing thing is, it's affordable than other Amazon dropshipping softwares. You can easily sign up now to start your 14 days free trial. If you will check out sign up link from this video description below, then you will get 10% discount for the first month. Start your free trial now and I'm sure you guys will love it. You can get it done in three steps. Add Amazon seller account, create payment policies, link your Amazon listings and supplier products. That's it. Let's see some insights with demo account. Okay, got it. This is the price up dashboard page. You can watch actively listings, out of stock listings, a percentage of your listed items in buy box, competition below minimum price. It happens when you set up a minimum price in your price hub because you don't want to go down further to avoid losses, right? Here you can see suppliers dominance, which suppliers you listed most. You will see profits here. Buy box ownership means how many of your Amazon listings taking place in buy box. Here you can see total revenue. This is the sales graph. Here you can see sales with which profit and buy box ownership percentage. In products tab, you can see your listed items with their supply links. That means you don't need to make spreadsheets separately to check for suppliers. You can check your Amazon price and buy box price here, which will help you maintain things faster to win buy box. If you scroll right, then you can see more cool options over here, like repricing strategy. You can make your own repricing strategy. I have some ready-made strategies because this is demo account. I'll not change anything over here. This plus green sign means this product is in stock on supply side, and this is Amazon stock status. Scanning is active. You can pause it, but I recommend you make sure for your listings that scanning is active to let Reprice Hub maintain supply price or stock changes. Under action column, you can delete this item from here. You can unlink with the supplier through this. From here you can edit it. Here you can change your selling margins. Here you can use ready-made settings template if you made before. You can also create new one. I'm not going to discuss margins because it's another long topic. Make sure those three buttons are enabled. When item is sold, restock quantity. The price product in Amazon. If supplier product goes out of stock, set quantity to zero in Amazon. Here you can select repricing strategy which you made before. Or you can make changes from here. Click save. You can add personal notes for this listing over here. If any product doesn't have supply link, you can add here. Through a list tab, you can create single listing or bulk listings. I prefer single listing because it doesn't take much time to create. Just paste ASIN over here you want to meet with and then add supply link, whether it's Walmart, Amazon, eBay or any other. Here you can change your selling margins. In bulk lister tab, you can download sample CSV file from here and then put details accordingly to upload same file with products details to list them in bulk. Here in orders tab, you can see your latest or existing orders. You can also filter orders for specific suppliers from here. You can filter orders by status if it's shipped, cancelled, delivered, or whatever order status you want to check for. In repricing strategies tab, you can see strategies. This is demo account, that's why here are those to show you guys. In your new account, you may not found those. Okay, so take it easy. It's not a problem. You can make strategies with yourself to in buy box with your minimum or maximum prices. Click add new. Give it a name. Select competition type you want. I prefer buy box. Here you can select below price, match, price above. I prefer below price because when my competitor will try to win buy box by decreasing his price, my this automatic strategy will automatically drop my price with little bit difference I'll put here to win buy box. When no competition, I'll prefer to use maximum price. 
when below minimum i prefer do not reprice because i don't want to compete with loss don't change my price when in buy box make sure to select enable to stay at buy box please check out those features if you found any questions just let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely answer as soon as possible this is settings template tab you can make multiple setting templates for multiple suppliers to make sure amazon fee profit supply tax etc i hope you guys like this informative video if you have done please hit the like button smash subscribe button and press the bell icon to get more informative videos in the future if you do have any questions that please let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely reply as soon as i can thanks for watching this video we'll be soon in the next video to take care of yourself and your family Al Hafiz.